We went out for a drive, as we often do, a while back, and um, came across a very unusual place called Denny Abbey. We were just driving around and we come across one of those brown signs, you know, you see, around the countryside. And we just followed the signs and it took us down this very, very narrow dirt track. And we ended up at this place, Denny Abbey. Fascinating. Denny Abbey is built on a small island, the island of Denny. This part of England is known as Fenland. It's boggy, waterlogged, often low-lying ground. And Denny is a small island on some high ground. And so there's been people living there for a very long time. There's, they've found Roman pottery and uh, a raised earth track it seems that there was a farm here in Roman times and it's interesting if you look uh, at the overhead shot you can see that there's what used to be carp ponds in a row you can only see them from above they don't really stand out at, at ground level the first church that was built was around 1159 for Benedictine monks from Ely Cathedral and then the next group to, to move into the area were the Knights Templar who took over the site in 1170 to use as a retirement home for elderly members. In the early 1300s the Templar organisation left Britain and the site was given to the Countess of Pembroke. According to a local guide, the Countess of Pembroke set up a religious community at Denny uh, for, for Franciscan nuns known as the Poor Clares, uh, in around about 1339. And next, in 1539, the Abbey was closed by Henry VIII, King Henry VIII, and the site was sold. The building was used for many hundreds of years as a farmhouse, and it continues to be a farm today. Well, it's now a farm museum. In 1883, it was still a farm and in 1928 the farm was sold to Pembroke College and to a company called Chivers who make jam uh, and they were there until the Second World War. After the war the government took over the uh, Abbey and kept it as a small and unique place to safeguard it for the future. Nearby to the Abbey are Bronze Age burial mounds. These go back to 4000 BC and uh, there is also evidence of Roman occupation with crockery and bits of pots found around. It's interesting to think that the Knights Templar took over this place for elderly Knights Templars to live. By 1308 the Knights Templars had become unpopular and mistrusted. King Edward II banned the organisation and took all their assets. There were 11 Templars living at Denny at the time. They were all arrested and ended up in the Tower of London. That's Denny Abbey for you. Been there for a very long time. And it will be there for a very long time to come, no doubt, because you can't find the place. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was uh, good fun making it. And uh, I'll see you next time.